Evidence-based design, as defined by the Center for Health Design, is the process of basing decisions about the built environment on credible research to achieve the best possible outcomes. There are several design strategies that are uh, based on research and have been proven to work well in the healthcare setting. Some of those are things like decentralized nurse stations, bringing the nurse closer to the patient, uh, creating private rooms so the families can be involved in patient care, designating family spaces within the room so they have their own space and caregivers can do their work without them intermixing with each other. Uh, really looking at how we do wayfinding and uh, having visitors and families be able to navigate the building without much assistance, uh, giving patients control over their environment. Things like uh, room service dietary, when they open the curtains or the TV controls or the temperature of the room, all controlled from their bedside. And then really looking at how we incorporate technology to enable everyone to give care better. Uh, healthcare design of the past was typically designed around uh, just the, the, the caregivers' processes, and it was whatever made it easy for them. And in the long run, it really wasn't easy for them, and it really wasn't about the patient. And probably about in the 1970s, we really started to focus in on what patients and families wanted and how they could be involved in care and how we could design facilities better so they could actually participate in the care. We also had a, a huge impact with technology, and that really changed the way we had to think about our work processes, how we had to think about doctors working, nurses working, any caregiver within the facility, and we designed things around those processes and with that technology in mind. Implementing uh, evidence-based design principles is sometimes a difficult decision for the client, and often they're concerned about, this is going to cost me more money. It's really about educating the client on the types of research that is available, and there's over a thousand studies today that have been peer-reviewed and that are um, actually getting great outcomes for some clients, and we want to apply that to their setting. And we want them to understand that uh, sometimes there is an initial uh, there's a cost associated with that initial investment in the strategy, but many times there's payback over years. We need to really sit down with them to study that and to make sure they're making the best decision for their project. My name is Brandi Page. I'm the neonatal ICU nurse manager at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, and I currently manage a 45-bed level 3 in ICU. The old NICU was an open bay design that supported up to 23 level 3 patients. Um, the patient and caregiver space was very tiny. We had approximately 25 square feet um, where you bumped nurses to nurses, bumped back taking care of the babies. The new NICU that we currently have has over 200 square feet in each patient room and a total space of approximately 25,000 square feet so a lot larger than what we were used to in our old design. The NICU was designed to benefit the caregiver, and I think the most important key principle here about the design was that the caregivers were an integral part of the design team. The design is a direct reflection of their contributions. The decentralized supplies and nurse stations locate the supplies and resources close to the patient. Um, the integrated monitoring system promotes efficiency and benefits the patients and the staff. Each room is configured with a Philips monitor that allows you to um, monitor up to three patients at one time so the nurse can visualize all of her patients in one room at one glance and not have to worry about traveling or walking many steps to see their baby. Um, we have a computer in every single room so charting is convenient. There's no need for the nurse to, to leave and get a patient chart. She has access to the chart. Each nurse and each physician in our unit carries wireless phones which allows the nurses or the physicians to contact other physicians, ancillary staff, lab and pharmacy with ease. The phones also allow staff to send messages to each other to ask for help or to offer assistance whenever they're available or have time. The decentralized model prevents the noise and chaos of a central nurses station for staff as well as for the patients. We tried to incorporate all of the amenities that a family would need in order to provide care for their baby 24-7. So we have a washer and dryer, a family kitchen in which they can have food and, and bring their own supplies. In each patient room, we have a pull-out sofa and a couch. Um, 
we have a kangaroo chair, so we see a lot more developmentally supportive care through kangaroo care with moms being able to hold their baby and relax and kick their feet up and just enjoy the moment as if they were home reading a book or watching TV. One of the largest changes in our unit um, is related to family visitation and how they enter our unit. In our old unit, they had to knock on a door, wait for someone to come and greet them, ask for an ID number, and then escort them to their baby's room. So they really felt like visitors. They didn't feel like they were a family member coming to see their baby or a mom or a dad. In our new unit, they have proxy cards and they scan a door, walk in, and enter their baby's room just as if they would the nursery in their home. So it really creates more of an atmosphere in which they feel like a family and not so much like a visitor in our NICU. Well, in our design, we have on and off stages for the staff and for the family. For staff, we actually have a place that we can go and relax. We have chair massages um, in our staff lounge that allow staff to get away um, from the direct patient care from the rooms. Um, they also have the corridors that we have broken up into really gives the staff an opportunity to step outside the patient room and have a chair and a computer to sit down and chart at, so it really helps them to relax. We have family spaces outside of the patient rooms as well. Um, we have natural light in that area. They can get a breeze from outside and be able to socialize and interact with one another to know that they're not alone in this experience. We are a member of Prescaney, and so we send patient satisfaction surveys to our families after discharge. And prior to moving into our private room design, our patient satisfaction with the family caregiver space in our unit was in the 60th percentile. Since our move, our scores have risen dramatically to the 99th percentile, which is very rewarding to know that we truly did design a unit that benefited the caregiver in the family space. A comment from a staff survey indicated that the private room designs not only give families more personal space, but it also gives care staff a more personal relationship with the family and patient and allows them to connect. The staff satisfaction increased over 30 percent, and this was with new technology, a new environment, new leadership, a lot of changes that they had experienced, but the environment helped them to transition nicely. Well, as the neonatal service nurse manager, I round on all the patients and families in our unit every single day, and I'm able to hear from them what a wonderful experience it is. I rarely walk in the room and hear any negative comment. Um, they feel like they have, the caregivers are providing wonderful care to them. The environment allows them to spend time with their baby and feel like they're a part of the, the care team. Recently, I rounded on a patient who um, was not going to have the outcome um, of life, but had come to our unit for convalescent care to um, spend quality time with his family for the last days that he was going to be able to be with them. And when I rounded on the dad, he said, you know, this means more than anything. I come to this environment, it's not about the technology. It's not about the alarms or the other caregivers that I, I see. I get to spend time with him and enjoy the last moments that I have to be with him.